what is up Shark Army, it's me GameShark and to welcome back to another Stardew Valley 1.4 content video. I'm feeling much better today, a lot better than I've been recently, so I'm super excited to make some more of these 1.4 videos because I don't play this game unless I'm recording a video, so everything that I show in these videos I'm discovering myself for the first time as well, so it's so exciting to play through these videos and show them to you because I'm learning about it all as well, so let's get straight into this one today. And what are we doing today? Well, I don't know why I'm telling you, because you can probably read the title already. So today we are... Ooh, tea sapling. Oh, we've got the tea from Caroline. Thanks for stopping by the sunroom yesterday. I usually drink tea alone, but it was fun to share it with you. I've enclosed instructions on how to prepare and grow your own tea. No pressure, but if you do end up growing some, make sure to bring me a cup. So we've finally got the tea sapling. So the tea sapling takes 20 days to mature, and we can produce it in the final week of each season except winter so spring summer and fall obviously it takes all season to grow and then for the last few days of the season you'll be able to get the harvest they produce the tea leaves during the final week of each season wow okay so shall we get one down pretty excited uh we'll put it over where the new stuff is for the 1.4 why not in fact look at that we've got a tilled soil oh in fact it don't go in the soil it just goes in the normal ground a little bit like a, a normal tree sapling Okay, interesting. So yeah, we've got a tea down. Look at that. We'll harvest that throughout the uh, the seasons. But today, guys, we are messing around. We're going to explore with the fish ponds. This is a new item in the game, a new farm building that you can buy from Robin and she'll build it for you. And here it is. Using the fish pond, we can raise fish and breed them and we can also harvest their produce, which is a caviar and roe, I believe. And uh, you can breed and use all of the species of fish in this pond and some will give you special items. The fish will multiply over time. We're gonna build a few of these. Maybe let's get like three or four on the farm and we'll experiment with them. We'll place some fish in there. We'll uh, let them produce and uh, see how they get on and see how we use them. So let's go. We're gonna build our first one. See if we've got any space to put these down anywhere. You know what? We can have a few up here. It would be quite nice. Okay, let's place one right there. Might be able to get another one next to it. Now I have got the mod where it builds these instantly because we don't wanna wait three or four days for that. I want to showcase them off, you know, for the video's sake. This is what it's all about. So I'm using the mod for that. I can place another one right next to it there. And then I'll be able to get through that gate. And we'll get one or two more. Obviously, these uh, cost 5,000 gold each, which is not too bad. But it's also 200 stone and then just the 5 seaweed and 5 green algae. Now, there is a new change to the building when you place a building down. Before, if there was a bit of grass or like a, a bit of tilled soil on the floor, you wouldn't be able to build over it. Even seeds like that. As you can see, there's a seed there and your building will now place on top of that. Anything in its way before, like grass, tilled soil, seeds, you couldn't place any item there. But now it will automatically place and build next to it, so that's quite good. So let's go and get one right there. So there we go, we've got three. I think that will do for now. So let's go and check them out and see how they work. I think we've got to put some fish in them. Check them out in all their glory, they look amazing. I mean... Before we've got ponds on the farm, like a little one there where you refill your watering can, but that's about it, you know, so it's very exciting to have these here. I'm going to move this scarecrow out of the way, use a gold scythe and get rid of that bit of grass. Let's put that scarecrow there. And here are the fish ponds. There's three different ones. Uh, they're all different styles. Actually, these two are the same, but that one's different. Fish can be placed into this pond. So what three fish shall we use? Does one pond only contain one fish let's take a look okay so the three fish we're going to use are some of the new ones there is a new fish in the game called the flounder it lives right down at the bottom and both eyes are on top of its head it's like the little flat fish there's also a midnight carp and a midnight squid so can we do this oh look at that so we place the found the flounder fish in there let's place i'm gonna have to go this side let's place the midnight carp up here look at that and another one now, I might put another one in there, so there's two of each. Look, I can see a little shadow of them, which is awesome. Let me go and put, like, a, a mate in there, so there's two of them, and they can breed. I think that's how it might have to work. So, the squid was in here, right? There we go. Look at that. So, there's now two of there, two in there. They do a move around as well. You can see the shadows very faintly of what they are, which is awesome. And another one there. So, I'm guessing it's just a waiting game now. I don't know how this works. Like I said, this is all new to me as well. So, we've got two midnight carp, two midnight squid, and two flounders was it a flounder and let's see what items they produce for us i could do with another pot i might get another pond right there so there's four of them you know what let's go ahead and do it that's going to do me head if i don't do that okay and here's the last one so we'll have four in total in a big square like that there we go showcase next to the new 1.4 items perfect and we'll go and put a new a different fish in there what about one of the legendary fish i wonder 
how good that would be. Now, speaking of legendary fish, there has been a change as well. I think you can only catch them once now, or is that just the legend fish? The legend. I think you can only catch it once. So, shall we go and put that in here? So, this is the legend, the king of all fish. They said he'd never be caught. You can only catch one of those, I'm sure. I read something about it. Oh, you can't put legendary fish in here. Okay, well, that's a good test. So, there we go. You can't put legendary fish in there. Is that all of them or just the legend, maybe? Let's take a look. Yep, you can't put the angler fish in there either. Uh, you can't put the glacier fish. What about the spook fish? Oh, yeah, there we go. That's uh, some of the new fish from the 1.3 update, well, the last one, the spook fish. So, there we go. We've got two spook fish in there as well. So, I'm going to skip a few days, guys, and we'll see if these uh, produce any items. Well, I know they do, but I don't know how long it takes. So, uh, let's go ahead and skip ahead sleep some days and see what they produce and see how much they are worth i love them already i'm so glad we can get the fish ponds it's such amazing what a great part of the update that is oh look at this guys already so the things that they make this is, is this the caviar the fish eggs they come into this little uh, like bucket at the bottom right here so the one at the top left was this the mutant carp this was the, oh the midnight carp row so there we go midnight carp row now, can we make this into anything? What do we place this in? Okay, so fresh fish eggs, they can be aged in a preserve jars to bring out more flavour. Oh, let's go ahead and do that. In fact, should we collect a few of these first? Because we've got a big barn full of preserve jars and we could make a big, big production of them. So, I might go ahead and uh, wait for that. We've got this barn here. Yeah, this is the one we're going to use. Okay, can make lots of them. I think that makes uh, the row, is it called? It's a delicacy that people eat, I believe. So, the the Midnight Carp only took one day. The other ones are taking a bit longer. So, I'm guessing the different fish will give different items and they might take a little bit longer because obviously the Flounder and the Midnight Squid might produce different items. I, I don't know. So, we'll, we'll go ahead and see. Can we mix the fish? I've got Midnight Squid in here. Can I put the normal ones in there as well? No, they don't want to live with the Midnight Squid. Okay, how do you get the fish back out of here? Oh, look at that. Population 2. We're feeling pretty good. Empty pond. Change appearance. Oh, wow, okay. You can change the looks of them. Look at that. That's awesome. So you can get three of each one in there. And apparently they do reproduce, don't they? So can you upgrade these, I wonder? Only three fish in each pond. That's a little bit underwhelming. I finally gave my wife, Leah, a, a gift after so long. I need to get a heart because uh, I want to get a 14 heart event dialogue, which I'm going to showcase off in the video. But I'm going to go to sleep now, work on my marriage. Oh, God. she's I've got the least hearts with my wife than I have anybody. Here she is. Let's give her another one. Oh, exactly what I wanted. There we go. She's watered our crops for us. Okay, so we've got another one done. This is... The Spookfish Row. Okay, well, it looks like the Midnight Squid and the Flounder Fish are taking quite some time. So you only get one of these per day then. Okay, it's going to be quite a, a long process to make these. So I'm, I'm intrigued to see how much they sell for, especially when we age them. So whilst I'm waiting for some of the fish produce to make, I just want to show you if you, another new item that's been in the game. This might be a spoiler, so if you don't want to know about any spoilers or any potential items in the game, and then skip ahead or click off the video but for the people who don't mind there is a new scarecrow in the game and you can only get it by collecting all of the the other rare crows so once you've got them all you'll get access to the new one and it's the big one and this one is called the deluxe scarecrow now this is what it looks like look at that now i believe this scarecrow has a much larger radius than the other ones i think it's doubled so um, it's a lot better at fighting off the crows and scaring them away but you've got to collect the other ones in order to get that one i forgot to mention it in one of my previous videos so there we have it oh look at that they was jumping out of the water they've produced we have now got a third fish in the flounder pond everything is okay are these these are still not producing items, so I'm wondering if they are, maybe they don't produce, only produce fish. As you can see, the Midnight Squid as well, the fish look happy, but they've not produced anything yet. We have got the Midnight Carp Row and the Spookfish Row, but I don't know about the other two fish. Maybe you can only make items with certain fish, or do they take longer? I don't know why they take longer. So I'm going to skip a few more days. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to fill out an entire full barn of them because they take a lot longer than a four but i want to showcase each of the fish that i have got uh, at compare prices obviously some are taking much longer so i'm hoping the price is a lot more higher you know the value and the profit but that was awesome that we got to see them jumping out of the water when they produce like that i still i'm curious to see if we can upgrade them because free fish in each pond doesn't seem like a lot oh look at this they're still jumping out again 
So we've got three, three in each one now. Awesome. Maybe that might speed up the progress the more fish you've got in there. Because you still only get one row even though there's three fish in there. So I don't understand how it works. We've still not got any midnight squid or flounder row yet. What's going on? Now one thing you could do is empty the pond. Only keep one in there and then I'm guessing it'll keep populating so you can make the money by selling the fish. So it's obviously like a fish breeding pond as well as making the row. You can either keep them there to get the row or you can empty the fish and sell the fish as well. As long as there's one or two in there, like I don't know if you need two to breed or not, but you can always sell at least one fish when you've got the third. And here we go. In fact, look at that. The Midnight Squid has actually gave us the Squid Ink. Yes, we've actually got it. Okay, and now I believe... Oh, what's this? Why has he got an exclamation mark there? Oh, we've decided that we need three corals. Oh, okay, so they're demanding three corals. I'm guessing it's this is because different fish require different things because these can be found in the ocean, right? They want three sticks or driftwood. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Now, I'm guessing this is because these fish make different items. There we go, look at that. Everyone, look, fresh driftwood. Oh my god, so then they can now populate up to five. Oh, so you've got to give them things to make them happy. That is pretty awesome. So let's give these guys the corals. The fish look satisfied with the corals. Yes, so we can now get five of those as well. So they're going to make you good money. We've got the squid ink from those as well. We're still waiting for the flounder row, which I know you can definitely get. So they're taking a long time. We've now uh, upgraded the size of the pond by giving them some items that they want. Driftwood and coral. So we've now got three out of five in each of those tanks. Is that the max or do they want more? I have no idea, but that's pretty exciting. So we've got squid ink, which is, uh, I don't know if you can just sell this or do you need to use it for anything else? It might just be an item we can sell on its own, which is pretty awesome. So I'm just waiting for a few more row from the other two fish. And I want to age them all in the preserve jars and uh, compare the prices. So I'll skip ahead now. It's, I'm glad I waited out because to find out we can upgrade them like that is pretty cool. Okay, and here we go. We've got some more demands. Look at this. The spook fish wants free iron bars why would they want that well they are weird fish okay we're doing okay but we'd be happy with three iron bars wow we've got some more squid ink as well and these midnight car are asking for 10 bug meat Ooh. okay well they're gonna be upgraded if we do that so let's find some of them items and let's go ahead and do it okay so here's the bug meat have them all look at that yes so we can now get up to five of those as well. They feel more at home. I wonder if it's just maxed at five or would they keep asking more? There's the iron bars for you weird spook fish. I love how they jump out of the water like that. That is awesome, guys. What a great building. It's my favorite building in the game, hands down. I am so excited over it. And here we go, finally, we got the flounder row. Is that how you say it, row? I think it is. That took so long. I mean, how many days did that take to get one of those? I'm hoping this must sell for a lot more. I've used the item spawner to spawn in the Midnight Squid Row because they do give you that as well. I'm guessing it varies from the Squid Ink and the Squid Row. But just to compare, I want to make all of those. Uh, I want to age them all, compare the prices. And then also we can sell the Squid Ink as well and uh, see which one's quite valuable. The Flounder took a long time, so I'm guessing that's going to be worth quite a lot of money when we age it. Obviously, we're aging it in like salt water or something. I don't really know how it works, but let's go ahead and put these in here. Can you put squid ink in there? No. So there we go. We've got that one in there. We've got that one in there. One of those in there. And one of those in there. So that's all four of them. One of each. We've got a few more left over, so we'll put these in these ones over here. Give us a little bit more money. I'm excited about it. Obviously, you can experiment and put all sorts of fish in them ponds to find out which is the most valuable uh, aged row when you age it. That'll be interesting to see, but you can't use legendary fish. Apart from the legendary fish, what is the most valuable fish in the game? Do you guys know? If you do, let, it know, let me know down below in the comments. What is the most valuable fish in the game? Not a legendary though, just a normal fish. If you guys can tell me what that is, I'll make a, a full farm project video where we have loads of farm fish ponds on the farm and I will fill them out entirely with this uh, fish and we'll breed them and we'll try and make a lot of money from them. Oh, look at this. We've got some more items too. So they aren't demanding for anything else. So I'm guessing the population is five. Oh, we've got four now. That's pretty cool. We could sell the fish and make some money from that as well. I don't know if keeping them in there helps speed up the production of the row and stuff. Okay, this is still making. This is one day later. Okay. And here we go. They are all made. Look how awesome they look. So we've got them all there. So let's go ahead and sell them. So these are called aged and then whatever fish name is row. So we've got aged midnight carp row, aged spookfish row, 
we've used the Age Midnight Squid Row. Oh, Midnight Carp, Midnight Squid, sorry, and the Flounder. So that's the four fish that I used in today's video. We'll compare them now and see which one is the, the most valuable. And let me know which ones you guys have experimented with as well. So I'm going to sell one of these. I'll sell the Squid Ink as well. Then I'll sell one each of every single one of those. Just so we can compare the prices much more better. So let's go to sleep. We're in summer now as well. And uh, let's see. First, let me give my lovely wife another salad. Because I've been forgetting. Oh, as you can see, she is not very happy with me. Oh, god damn it. And here we go. Wow, okay. So, the squid ink sells for 110 gold each. And oh, this is interesting. So, the aged midnight carp sold row sold for 294. The spook fish sold for 392. And then the midnight squid and the flounder sold for 224 gold each. Bear in mind, those fish took the most to make the row, and it's the least valuable. Interesting. So the spook fish and the midnight carp were my most pr productive fish there. They was making me quite a lot, especially the spook fish. And look how much one of those sold for. 392 gold. So far, that is my favourite fish out of all of them. It's uh, very fast at producing the row, and it's uh, making good money as well. Very, very interesting. So there we have it, guys. That has been the new fish ponds in the game. I've experimented with them, shown you where to buy them from, how much they cost obviously to build them on the farm and see how they work you gotta put your chosen fish in there whichever you like and they can produce items such as ink and row you can age them in the preserve jars and also you can breed the fish and sell the fish once they get full because they'll keep producing slowly over time so you can make money by doing that as well absolutely love it like I said it's one of my favorite uh, things in the game especially for the 1.4 video I'm super gassed with it I'll be using them all the time it's a great way to boost money and it's not too complicated and difficult to make a fish pond as well only 5,000 gold and some seaweed and green algae I mean you'll always have that lying around so very very awesome hopefully you guys enjoyed the little showcase of the fish ponds hopefully enjoying using them as well oh my god what is that look at this garden pot here it looks like he's got a face on it I've never seen that one before. Interesting. But yeah, that has been another 1.4 content video. The fish ponds, absolutely incredible. Thank you all for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here to make sure you never miss any of these 1.4 videos for Stardew Valley. Got lots of more things to show you. I've got a new multiplayer series coming out very soon as well using the Four Corners map and the new separate split money option which is going to be an awesome challenge series so stick around for that, hit the notification bell. But until then, I'm going to wrap it up there. That's all we've got time for. It's been me GameShark and I'll see you on the next video. Stay safe, stay awesome and see, see ya! ya.